Hey, Wonder Friends, today we are going to draw a panda balloon. We're going to draw a panda balloon right now. Here we go. Alright, Wonder Friends, today we're going to draw a panda balloon, and we're really just going to draw a panda face, but we're going to turn it into a balloon. I just want to teach you the basics of drawing a simple panda face. It seems like it should be easy, and it kind of is, but it's kind of not. And the reason why it's kind of not is because, you know, it's a simple character, a panda. There's only, you know, a couple things, black and white, that you can kind of do that makes people know it's a panda, but sometimes the simplest things can be hard to draw. So what we're going to do uh, before we get started, I want to remind you that you're going to draw different than me. That's great. You're going to draw just like you. If you feel like I made a mistake or maybe I've talked too fast and you need to rewind it, that's fine too. Just get a new piece of paper, start over. I know I talk, so I talk fast and <clears throat> that's just what we have to deal with. All right, so what we got here is our pages up and down, and we're gonna start with just a circle. This is just a basic shape that we can build our character off of. Now, when we're drawing something like a panda, a lot of what the panda is gonna look like comes out in the pieces. What I mean by pieces are like the elements, the eyes, the nose, the mouth, things like this. This is how we can take such a simple character and change it up and make it look a little different. Now, one of the things about panda ears is that they're kind of a little bit smaller, but you can draw them bigger if you want. Um, so I want you to draw the ears that you would like to see on here. <clears throat> I'm going to draw just a couple like ovals like this. And notice they don't have to be exactly the same, right? So just two ovals on each side. And I want to pretend that there's an imaginary line running right between here, okay? And I want to give this panda some really big eyeballs just because it gives it shape, it breaks it up, it shows a little bit of emotion different. So I'm going to draw two big ovals like that. Zeros is what they are, okay? And then where we're inside of each one of those, I'm going to draw a little bit bigger circle just like that. Now, if I draw them a little closer, it gets that little bit of a cute vibe to it, right? And then I'm gonna color this in. And I'm gonna leave the little corner piece not colored in. And that gives this idea that it's like the illusion of it being kind of wet, the light would be coming this way, things like this. Now, I wanna also put in a nose. And a nose is just going to be a half circle with a line through it, that's it. Okay, and we're gonna leave that open so we can color it. We can color it pink, something like that. It just gives us a little extra space to color in. And then I also wanna put a little smile. So I'm just gonna do a little smile. That's like a parallel line that's gonna run right below that other line. And then we're gonna connect both of those over just like so. Now I'm gonna add in the inside of the mouth here, right? And I'm doing that so that way I can um, color in again, that pink or some sort of color in there. Now I do wanna add like the muzzle, which the muzzle is like the nose of a thing. So if you think like a dog, the thing at the end of the nose, that's a muzzle, right? Same sort of thing for the panda. I wanna add that in there just so I can have some other places to color. I'm just gonna do that by just drawing a circle around just like that. Now I'm gonna leave the rest here for us to color, but I wanna finish out this whole thing by adding some things like eyebrows, right? Up here, right there maybe. Change it up any way you want. Color those in, color those in. And when you go to color these things, make sure you remember that like we're gonna color in that black color so it's gonna change the way the eyebrows work and all that stuff like that. Now, to turn into a balloon, we're gonna put the bottom of it and that's just really, it's just a thing like that. It's just like some sort of wavy line. Think about when you tie off the end of a balloon, that little part that hangs out, we're just gonna do that. And then we're gonna add in squiggly line, just like that for the string, right? Now, as you draw this a little different, you can make that, you can get better at making this shape, but you can shrink it down, change up what kind of character this is, all that stuff like that, have another character holding the balloon, have all kinds of fun with it. You can draw stuff like, you know, around here, we can have like some cloud shapes, right? and this balloon is floating in the air. You can do all those different things to this as you go on to, to create your own version of this 
or you know you just do the same as me and that's fine too now if you'd like to color just like me all you have to do is wait towards the end of this video where i post a still of what the final coloring look like where you can copy that or i encourage you to just get out your markers and crayons and color just like you have fun with it change it up anyway who says the panda has to be black and white you can change your pan to any color that you want because guess what you are the creator of this world so the last thing we need to do is sign our name on it so everyone knows who made this awesome piece of art. Hey friends, hope you had a lot of fun drawing the panda balloon. Uh, it was very, very simple, and sometimes simple characters can be very hard to draw. So don't get frustrated if yours doesn't turn out exactly the way you'd like for it to do. Here's the beauty of it. It was just a balloon, it's very simple shapes, and you can redraw it anytime you want. You can practice it over and over until you get exactly the way you want. And then once you get it there, figure out what's the next thing you want to draw. That's exactly how you get better at doing this stuff in just drawing and everything, is figure out the simple ways to break it down, learn it, then step out of your comfort zone and try a new way, maybe a little bit harder. It's a challenge and it's a lot of fun creating those things. Speaking of fun, make sure you check out the next video coming up where I guarantee that I'm gonna show you something that you think you may not be able to draw right now, but with some help and some practice, you will master it. Hey, Wonder Friends, I would love to see the art you create and feature it on one of my videos. With the help of an adult, take a photo of your finished art and post it on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter. Don't forget to tag me so I can find it. Hey, are you looking for a signed copy of one of my books? Check out my website, wondervillestudios.com, for books, t-shirts, mugs, and more. I also do loads of school visits and would love to hear from you about scheduling a visit. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all the other fun drawing lessons. Until I see you, be the weird you want to see in the world. See ya!